What's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna show you the start to finish process of building this backyard studio using Tough Shed. At the very end of the video, we're gonna show you the inside, which we're excited about. Let's get it. Okay, so we thought it would be fun to commentary through this. So what was happening right now is we had landscapers come a couple weeks before the Tough Shed arrived and they made this little gravel pad right here. And something to note, our backyard isn't huge and so I think a lot of people could do this pretty easily. And we were so excited because we were running our business currently through our nursery. So we were so excited just to have an office space also to have it out of the house. 100%, like so excited. So when Tough Shed showed up, it was our build day. Oh my goodness, guys, like we were so, so excited. They came, they were super professional. They got it all done in a day. It was insane, like the roof, everything. But as you can see, our backyard isn't that big. And so it just fit perfectly in that corner. Uh, by the fence and oh my goodness we were excited so about a week later so we had to bring in a trencher and this was Lacey's probably least favorite part yeah. of the whole process <laughs> because we had to make this massive trench in our backyard from the electrical panel all the way to the studio and uh, this is this is Ron uh, who helped us quite a bit in this project <laughs> It was, it was a lot of fun. But as you can see here, that's uh, from the house and just all the way back to the studio. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and show you inside of what the framework looks like. This is before insulation, the sheetrock and all that kind of stuff. But here it is, it's all there. As you can see, those, that little pipe we're showing right now, that is actually our AC unit because in our in our heater, they came as well. Uh, at the same time we, we ran the electrical so we started putting all of our outlets, ethernet, all that kind of good stuff. This was kind of a daunting task just because it just, it took some time. We wanted to make sure we had plenty of outlets and plenty of ethernet ports because this is a studio with video and all that. And we're going to be doing a lot of uploading and downloading. So we wanted to make sure we had enough of the ethernet ports. Has that loft, as you can see, we're probably going to end up putting my drum set up there. This, as we're showing you, is actually a spiral staircase, kind of a thing that's going to go up to the loft. You can see there's plenty of storage right over here. What's great about Tough Shed is you can customize anything. So we, we I mean, we kind of figured out like how big we wanted the shed, all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, we did, we opted for like a, 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 a what is it, a left? L-shaped. An L-shaped, yeah, L-shaped loft. But you can also do like a U-shaped loft. You can just have just like that main loft and not anything on the sides. This right here is the insulation we chose. We love it. It's rock wool. And I mean, it, it stays so warm in our studio. And it's like almost like soundproof as well. It, it's amazing, amazing uh, insulation. Highly recommend that if you're going to insulate your tough shed. Okay, guys. Well, today is the day where we insulated and sheetrocked. I mean, this took about a week or so to do this whole process. Uh, but man, it was it was fun. It was challenging. <laughs> as you can see here, I had to unload all the sheetrock because it started pouring rain, and so we unloaded it in our garage. But uh, right here, you can see we, we kind of uh, made the holes for the sheetrock because we installed smart can lights so we can change the color. Um, but we put those can lights in the loft and we're just kind of sheetrocking that. Uh, as you can see, this footage is um, kind of cinematic because we actually did two more vloggy type uh, videos that we'll link below about this whole process. So if you want to watch that too, you can. But uh, here I go, just uh, screwing in some sheetrock. And I don't know, this felt so good because it was just coming together. So I highly recommend having two people if you have like this, you know, high ceiling kind of thing because this was a challenge. Like the sheetrock, funny story, we dropped all of our screws. I had to hold it. My Ron went back down to grab the sheetrock. It was, it was crazy. But as you can see here, we uh, taped it. Uh, we put mud on it. We're sanding it. Okay, so about a week later and we just textured it. And so what I'm doing right here, I'm kind of showing you guys again. We'll link those vlogs below. But I'm kind of showing you like right now we're hoping that everything will dry. Uh, just because we wanted to paint tonight because we didn't want to fall behind schedule. And the reason why is like we remember we're in our nursery running a business. And so we're just trying to get out here as soon as possible. So we made our own schedule. This is orange pill texture, by the way. And right there, that is our heating and cooling system that got installed. And here's the, the, the split system outside. And if you're interested, we actually got it through Costco. Highly recommend it. It heats this place. I mean, there's snow on the ground, but it heats this place so well. Uh, but again, Costco, gotta love it. Okay, so same day, uh, we actually were able to start painting and we got this paint from Benjamin Moore. Uh, I'll link the, the exact color. I know some of you guys have reached out which color we used for this, but it's basically called gray from Benjamin Moore, but I'll get that color code for you. 
this was really exciting because we knew that the process was almost finished. So after painting was laying the floor, so we wanted to try to get that paint done so we didn't have to worry about all of our spills and splatters. So it made it a lot easier getting that done first, but we were excited to get this floor in and get moved in. This video is not sponsored by Costco, but we also got our flooring at Costco and it's the flooring we have in our kitchen. It's great, it's waterproof. We love the color of it and texture, so it's great. As you can see right here, it is done. We also put the same flooring up in the loft as well. And now was just all the finish work. So you can see Justin here is just putting in the baseboards and Ron was finishing up just more of the flooring and getting that all done. We had just a few light covers we had to get on and, you know, just, just the cherries on top, you know, just getting everything finished up. This right here, we're installing our staircase. But guys, that's kind of the start to finish. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like inside after it's all done. Check it out. Guys, we just can't be more excited about this. Like, it's just crazy how you can just take a shed and turn it into a home office, a studio, like a she shed, a he shed, right. whatever. Yeah, and it's like warm in here, mm -hmm. and we've got coffee. Like, we're like, we feel like we have another like house behind our house. <laughs> yeah, we got a refrigerator, the drinks. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, so basically, uh, if you're new to our channel, like welcome, and hopefully you enjoy the start to finish. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Ring the bell so you know when we come up with more videos. We are gonna do like more of like a home studio tour, like a detailed tour. Yeah. In the upcoming video, mm -hmm. this is just kind of like just overview. the overview, mm -hmm. if you will. But we're running a yeah. business out of here. We uh, do graphic design, video, video editing. Mm -hmm. So if you need any of that, yeah, comment below, <laughs> or you can uh, email us at zero productions. Or Justin at ZeroProductions.com if you want. I'll put that information down below. Mm -hmm. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't know. Right. We enjoyed I know. it. It is the season for a lot of people to be working from home. Mm -hmm. And so we're so excited to be able to do that. But also, it just feels nice to be like outside of the home in our backyard just being away but at the same time like I'm able to you know stay home with um, our daughter right now so it's just been really cool yeah. and and we're not nice. in a nursery we're not we're running yes. a business out of a nursery <laughs> like it's a funny story like there was a time when I was like on the phone like bidding for a client and I I, I just smell the diaper being changed. And I'm like, this is not working in here. Like, yeah. So I, I don't know. Anyone, time. guys, honestly, anyone can do this. If, if yeah. you're at that that spot where you just need a place where you can just have a, a work area, and I think that's what's huge is like mm -hmm. work stays here, home is there now, and right. it's not like this mixed weird thing. Yeah. So when we close the door, we call it. We light turn off the lights. We call it a day. Yeah. The day is done, and yeah. I think even though it's still like steps from our home yeah it feels like it's not at the same time mm -hmm. and i don't know it's awesome so yeah we're really excited let us know if you have any questions on this process hopefully yes. um if yeah, hopefully we can answer those the best we can yeah we'll do our best to link like like just in terms of like the paint color mm -hmm. like our flooring things like that that we use but if we miss stuff like let us know if you have yeah. any questions on things that we use if this is something you're planning on doing um let us know yeah let yeah. us know all right guys thank you <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't subscribed because yeah. we'll have those videos come out. And also, again, we'll link those other two vloggy type videos down below too. Yep. So, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.